Okay, so you've got $25 and you're trying to figure out what's the next thing I should buy. What app should I buy? What should I get? What should be my main purchase in the world of iOS? You've got a decent understanding of music. You know how to use GarageBand. You probably downloaded Groovebox. You have Boxwave, the free version. You've got Launchpad. And you're trying to figure out what exactly you should get with $25. Well, these are my top three recommendations of apps to get. First things first, I'm gonna start with the OG, Bloxwave. Seriously, get Bloxwave. It's an amazing app that allows you to add your loops into it. So whatever works you've already created before, you can always just add it in and it allows you to express your idea. I mean, look at this. It's, it's one app that I can say right in front of you. I can make a song for you in 10 seconds. And all I just do is tap on drums, tap, tap on bass, tap on melodies. Boom, I've got a song there right there for you. I can instantly send that project directly into Launchpad for remixing. It's also got a sampler that allows me to be able to take bits and pieces of audio into it. So seriously, get Bloxwave. Ordinarily, it's $20, but on some specific time, Novation or Amplify, who owns it, does sales. That brings it down to $10. So that's why I'm adding it on the list. Right now, it's on sale. If it's possible, get it. It's a fantastic app, and I can not say anything more than, yeah. All right. Second app on the list, AudioShare. Now, AudioShare is kind of like the bread and butter in the iOS community. Well, it's such a multi-versatile tool. So what Audio Share is, it's, it's an application that allows you to be able to manage all of your audio files, support USB files. But you can also use it to manage your MIDI files. And that's something I don't see they get mentioned about. It's a great MIDI player. So if you've got any MIDI that you've downloaded from loops or samples, you can keep it there. I can use it as a modular door, as a way to change the way a sound sounds like. All I just have to do is load up the file player as the sound is recording and add in any inter-app effects that I like. I don't think I've ever seen audio share ever crashing, now that I think about it. That's how good the app is. It's able to manage a lot of files. I'm able to use it to read text files whenever I'm doing scripting and I want to understand what's going on. So honestly, out of all the apps that I ever got, I'd say the one I use the most, other than the main four of it, is audio share because it's such a multi-versatile tool it's also great at converting files it's great at trimming files you can also use audio share as a wi-fi drive to be able to transfer stuff between your computer or other devices without needing much interconnectivity like i used to be looking for apps that i could use to transfer stuff from one computer to another one but then i realized i could just use audio share turn on the wi-fi drive have the other device connect to to my IP address or to my web, to the website that pops up and boom, I can easily transfer stuff back and forth between the iPad. Audio share, seriously, it's a great app. And Climatica, keep it up. Now sure, you could get the Documents app and it does similar stuff. I, but I actually use both of them to do it. Now the third app on my list is gonna cause some controversy because on one hand, I could pick the one made by Climatica, which is an excellent app called On. But well, actually, I decided to pick Audio Boss 3. It's got a simple interface that's easy to pick up and understand. So looking at it, there's two main, there's three main sections actually. There's the MIDI section, there's the audio section, and there's the mixer section. On the MIDI, you can you, you can connect your keyboards, you can connect any app that can be used as a MIDI input. You can also route stuff as a MIDI output. On the audio side, you can set which apps you want to send audio into another. It's similar to how GarageBand can use into app audio, except it expands your world into so much possibilities. I mean, imagine taking a sound from Koala Sampler, putting it directly into Bloxwave, and using the sampling feature of Koala Sampler into Bloxwave. Or 
imagine something like taking the sound from Groovebox and Launchpad, routing it directly into Blocksway, and then sending the output from Blocksway directly into GarageBand based on whatever transitions you want to do. It, it's crazy the amount of possibilities, and it's only limited to your imagination. Or looking at the example where I did, where I made use of Stravinsky to be able to connect it to Groovebox. In other words, it's just whatever you f you're thinking of doing, there's always a way around, and you can certainly find a way around doing it in an audio bus tree. Now, why audio bus tree and not on? Well, both apps are really amazing for what they do. Of course, you can use AUM, and uh, again, AUM is a fantastic app. I just recently got it, so I can't really say, but I'm still learning it. It's such a powerful app that sometimes it makes me wonder if I really should have used it. But honestly, both apps are fantastic. And you can actually use AUM and Audio Boss. But I really feel for a lot of beginners, you're better off learning something like Audio Boss to think about all the possibilities that you can do first before you start thinking about AUM and like its ability to do the exact same thing. So you've got a clearer idea as to how to move. But if you have the other way around, AOM is great because it, it makes a lot of things easy to align. And then you could use the ability for Audio Bus to switch windows to go back and forth between whichever apps you want to go to. So there is no right or wrong answer on that one. But honestly, for me, I just recommend starting out with Audio Bus and then moving on to ON if you did decide to go that route. All right, the bonus app I want to add would be Koala Sampler. Now, Koala Sampler is a relatively cheap app you can get for about $5 or $3.99, depending on where you are in the world. But it's an amazing sampling app that allows you to take snippets of audio and just use them in unexpected ways. You can record samples, you can import samples, you can drag projects, you can make a full song. It comes with some really cool effects in Boots, and it's... It's similar to Launchpad and Blocksway, but the really, really cool part about it is the way the sampling works, where you can take bits and snippets of audio instantly. You can mix it to form full songs right off the bat. And it's one of the most fun I've had using a particular app. Again, the killer combo I really like is Koala Sampler into Blocksway using a tool like Audio Bus. Now with something like that, it just, wow. You get the sampling power of Koala Sampler combined with the looping ability of Blocks Wave and all joined through Audio Bus, which makes it easy for you to switch between windows. And you can make really, really cool sequences. All right, now I've covered up a few apps that are currently, that I couldn't find out. But yeah, I didn't really cover Sense or Interapp Audio Effect and stuff. So I'll just leave you with a few effects that I use that for free, just to save your money and to also keep you looking. Filter Step, currently free. Great plugin. Try and get it while it's available. Primer Synth, it was my first starting synth I used. And they've got uh, an app in Synthoria where it shows you the basics of synths. If you're not familiar with synths, have a look at it. And it, it gives you some general idea. Viking Synth, it's it's a great mood based app. If you weren't able to get the mood model 15, Viking Synth is an excellent substitute, and I still use that even to this day as an AUV tree plugin. Synth Master Player. If you couldn't get Synth Master 1, Synth Master Player is excellent. I also make use of that app. And for effects, if you're looking for something that can at least tide you over, Voloco, amazing auto tune app that you can use for free. There are some paid unlocks there, but honestly, I Make do with the free effects and the free auto tune there, and it's actually my auto tune app of choice if I needed auto tune on a, on a song. It's also a great noise cancellation app. It's got this noise reduction feature directly there that, in a way, it, it may not be as good as Bruce Free, but it doesn't need to be. The fact that it's a free tool and it does the job really, really well, I actually use it on some stuff that I can't use. For example, I can use it in Audio Share. If there's a lot of noise in my audio, I can always reduce it using that app. Fyro, Fyro, Fyro is a fantastic app that if it's still free, download it. Seriously, download it. It's a great MIDI audio looping app, similar to Groovebox that you can have a look at.
So yeah, those are just a few apps to take a look into. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna like make this all about rank about me listing this is what you can do and this is that. But yeah, anyways, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if there's anything I didn't cover or let me know what your recommendations of applications are. Maybe there's one I haven't even seen or heard of that, that would be awesome. Anyways, guys, take care. It's been a pleasure and see you next time. Whoosh, and I'm out. Yeah, I guess that's it.